it and welcome back to the chronic corner i'm lauren and this episode is all about your vagus nerve more than likely if you're in the chronic illness or dysautonomia community you have heard of the vagus nerve before so we wanted to do a quick video to kind of briefly cover it um, and give you a little more information on it so what is the vagus nerve this is a part of your body that connects the brain stem to the rest of your body and it has pretty much two groups of sensory nerve cell bunches and think of it as having kind of four main functions i guess um the first one is sensory so this is everything from your heart to your lungs to your throat then you have a special sensory which is everything behind the tongue um, for a taste sensation next is your motor skills so this is things like muscle movements um, voluntary and involuntary and then you have your parasympathetic function which is why this keys into dysautonomia so it kind of is responsible for your digestive tract, your heart rate, your respiration, you know, things that really involve your autonomic nervous system. Now to backtrack for a minute, if you don't remember what parasympathetic is, the autonomic nervous system, when it malfunctions, causes dysautonomia. And your autonomic nervous system has kind of two main branches, your parasympathetic autonomic nervous system and your sympathetic. One is more of a fight or flight response and one is your body's rest and reset response. So your parasympathetic is partly functioning because of your vagus nerve. So when that's not working properly, that could be part of the problem in your body of why you're having dysautonomia symptoms. Now, stimulation of the vagus nerve is kind of starting to become a more well-known treatment. It's a little controversial. It has only really been approved by the FDA for very few conditions to treat. Uh, one of them is epilepsy. It is being done in studies now and being researched to see if it would be beneficial to those with other types of conditions but it really hasn't been conclusive about anything. Stimulation of the vagus nerve can be done manually or through electronic pulses, but that's kind of where we stand with everything. It's something that if you're interested in, please check out the link in our description below. It talks about it more in depth and maybe bring it up with your doctor and see what their take is on it. Every doctor is gonna have a different perspective, a different view, but Maybe you'll learn something and get a different take on it or get their opinion on stimulating the vagus nerve. So that is kind of our take on it. If you have anything that you'd like to add, we would love to hear from you in the comments below. And for more things dysautonomia, visit dinet.org. Thank you so much for watching.